Oh, hello there, everyone. Today, I'm going to be doing a packing video and showing you what's going inside my checked bag for my trip to Asia. First off, a big thank you to all of you guys who recommended the Toomey brand to me because I was in need of a new suitcase. All of my suitcases were basically broken and falling apart, so I needed some new luggage, and you guys were saying that Toomey is really reliable and durable, so that is exactly what I got. I got a brown suitcase from the Alpha 2 collection, and and this is the size up from the carry-on so it's not a super huge size but it's a great size for me and it will prevent you from overpacking, which is a huge huge deal so there is basically no way that you can make this suitcase over the 50 pound weight limit unless you're basically packing it with bricks which I hope you're not doing. All right, let's open this bad boy up. I'm gonna be showing you what my suitcase looks like once I'm finished, but you'll see me putting everything in. My biggest tip for packing a suitcase is to use packing cubes. Now, I've used packing cubes in the past, and they just basically help you stay organized. You can separate your clean and dirty clothes from each other, and they just help you pack more into the space and use your suitcase efficiently. My favorites are from Eagle Creek, and the first thing that I have is a packing envelope and this is going to help prevent wrinkles in your clothing so anything like a collared shirt nicer tops things that are prone to wrinkles you want to pack in this packing envelope they normally come with a really handy folding guide so you can just wrap your shirts around it and then pull the card out and you have a perfectly folded top that you can place in the packing envelope so I just stack a bunch of tops on top of each other and I like to alternate the direction so it doesn't get too bulky and I can fit about 10 tops in this packing envelope which is awesome and I also like to put dresses in packing envelopes as well my packing folder is ready to go so this is just gonna go in my suitcase this next packing cube is double-sided so it has a waterproof odor-proof side as well as a breathable mesh side and this is great if you have like wet bathing suits or dirty workout clothes or just dirty clothes in general and you want to keep them separate from your clean clothing on this first side I'm gonna start by packing my workout clothes so I have a couple tops a bottom and then I'm going to squeeze in my bathing suits and then on top of that I'm just gonna throw in some beach cover-ups and this side is finished. The other side is going to be for my pajamas and a tip for packing pajamas don't pack bottoms that are like fleecy and thick. Really stick to thin materials that tend to lay as flat as possible. So I have one pair of long thin pants and then a pair of shorts and a few tops to choose from. My trip is two weeks long but if you're going on a shorter excursion I would recommend packing less pajamas because honestly you're not really doing Doing anything in your pajamas aside from sleeping and you can always do laundry all right this packing cube is good to go so that is just gonna go in here before I forget if you're interested in anything that I'm talking about in this video I'm going to be adding it to my Lovocracy collection so you guys can easily see everything that I'm talking about and if you want to purchase you can buy directly from the Lovocracy site so my page will be down below for you guys all right time for the next packing cube this this one is a single packing cube so it doesn't have two sides like the red one but that's totally fine because I'm just packing tops in here so like t-shirts and tank tops things that are really casual and don't tend to wrinkle that easily and if they do wrinkle they're super easy to fix you can honestly just use a hair dryer at your hotel and get the wrinkles out it's no big deal whatsoever and now I can just take this guy and put it right in my suitcase I have another single packing cube this one is a little bit smaller and in here I'm going to be putting my bottoms so I have a pair of shorts a couple skirts and then a pair of flowy pants this little guy is all packed up so in it goes I'm not gonna be putting the rest of my bottoms in packing cubes just because jeans are pretty sturdy on their own nothing's really gonna happen to them so I'm just gonna plop them in my suitcase I have a couple pair of jeans and then a pair of leggings I'm going to Asia so the climate is going to be changing from Singapore Bali to Hong Kong it's gonna be cooler in Hong Kong so I'm trying to pack versatile things that I can easily layer I have another double-sided packing cube but this one is half the size of 
of the first one and in here I'm going to be putting my underwear and then on the other side my bras and a few pairs of socks. It would be very very bad if you forgot to pack your undergarments. That is definitely something that you want to make sure that you have. Now I am definitely somebody that packs a little extra underwear just because you never know what's gonna happen and it's not fun to have no clean underwear so it's okay to pack a few extra pairs just in case. For shoes I want to have several options depending on what I'm doing because I am going from city environments to the beach back to a metropolitan atmosphere so I do need some flexible options. So the first thing I'm going to be packing of course my workout shoes just so I can make sure that I am getting in my daily workout. I just like to put my shoes in little bags to make sure they're separate from everything else. These are little cloth bags but you can also use plastic bags as well. In the next bag I'm packing a pair of comfortable flip-flops and then a nicer pair of sandals and a comfortable pair of walking shoes. And in the last bag I'm packing a pair of heels just in case we go out to a nicer dinner and I need something slightly dressier. My shoe bags are good to go. From here I just have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff so the first thing is my Anya Heinmark vanity kit and this is basically where I keep all of my makeup and toiletries things that aren't in my carry-on. And if you want to see what's in my carry-on on. I did a whole video on it so that will be linked down below for you guys. It was actually my last video and you can see how I pack my liquids and creams and stuff like that. But here I just have the remainder of any makeup or body and hair products that I want to take with me. And for hair styling tools I have a long packing cube so I can put in my straightener and then my curling iron with a couple barrel options. It keeps everything together, it prevents the cords from getting tangled on your clothing and it's just really nice and convenient. To pack my jewelry I actually use an oven mitt so I just slide my jewelry in and then fold the flap over and my jewelry is nice and protected it's not gonna break or get snagged on anything in my suitcase. Jewelry is all set so in the bag it goes. I'm also going to be packing my travel yoga mat and I'm bringing this just because Towels just aren't the same as having a yoga mat. This provides a little bit of cushion as well as grip so I can stretch and do yoga and feel comfortable and I don't have to worry about running out of space on a towel. This is just really nice and it folds up so it's about the size of a t-shirt. It's really thin, doesn't take up a ton of space and you can even pack this in your carry-on as well. And the last thing I have is my Daily Look handbag and I just like having a second option to choose from especially in a different color so I can just pair this with different outfits. This one's also a little bit bigger than my other one so it will provide more space if I need it. In the main compartment I have my yoga mat on top of my jewelry, my jeans and leggings over here, my toiletries, hair styling tools, and in the other side of the suitcase I have my handbag right here and there's another compartment underneath where I have all of my shoes and then my tops just because they filled up the space nicely. Alright so that is gonna be it for my video today. I really hope this was helpful. <sighs> For some reason, I just ran out of breath right there, so I had to take a deep breath. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at Miss Glamorazzi, to see photos of my trip and to make sure that you can enter the giveaway that will be following this video. So I'll be giving away something from this video, and I will also have my last videos linked at the end of this one and down below in the information bar for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I will see you later. Bye!